The narcissist will try to replace you unless you do this. The narcissist will get rid of you and try to find someone to take your place. When you first met the narcissist, everything was great. They presented this ideal character to you. They mirrored you and reflected back everything you thought they thought you were interested in. You validated their false self. You admired them. You made them feel like there was something special. So everything was great. They wanted to be with you. Because they loved how you made them feel. That feeling was what made them stick around. It was narcissistic supply. And that is something they cannot live without. Which is why they may have been texting and calling you all day every day. They always wanted to see you. They couldn't be without you for even a short amount of time. Because you made them feel good. You validated their false self. You made them feel like the false character they were displaying to you was real. And the narcissist will naturally gravitate towards anyone who does that. Anyone who makes them feel like their false self exists. Anyone who is willing to enter the fantasy world. Anyone who is susceptible to their manipulation. But it isn't long until you start to notice cracks in their image. You start to realise that some of the things they were saying aren't true. Maybe they're not really interested in painting or swimming. You start to realise that it was just an act to lure you in. You start to see them as a fraud. Someone who is lying to you. And the narcissist will immediately sense this. They will realise that you're no longer validating their false self. They will realise that you no longer see them in the same way as you did before. They will feel like they're losing their supply. And this is when they will begin to devalue you. They will desire to hurt you for everything you saw wrong in them. Because the narcissist is never going to hold themselves accountable. They're never going to admit that they lied. They're never going to admit that they manipulated you. Instead, they're going to point the finger at you and say that you are to blame. They will say that you're just not good enough for them or you don't treat them right. When maybe you just had to take a step back. Since you realised that the person you thought you were dealing with doesn't even exist. And when they start devaluing you, it just pushes you away even more. You don't want to be around someone who looks down on you and makes you feel like you're beneath them. You want to feel valued. But when you start seeing the narcissist as they actually are, they cannot value you after that. Because they can only reflect back what you were giving to them. And when they see that you don't value their false image, they can no longer value you. 
And that is when they will try to replace you. When they start devaluing you, they will then start looking for someone else to give them the supply that you once gave to them. They will look for someone who will be more susceptible to their manipulation. Someone who will believe in their lies. To stop the narcissist from replacing you, you have to pretend like their false self is real. You have to go along with their narrative. You have to give them constant attention and admiration whenever they want it. When they try to manipulate you, you have to give in and act like you don't see it. You have to act like you lack awareness of what is really happening. So that you can remain a good source of supply to the narcissist. Then they may not desire to replace you. As long as you act like there's still something desirable to you. No matter what they've said or done. As long as you act like they're perfect and you see no flaws in what they're doing, they will stick around. Because it will feed their ego. It will make them feel like they're special and important. Which is all the narcissist really wants. They just want to feel like they exist. They just want to feel like they matter to someone. And if you can make them feel that way, they will stick around. Because they just want that feeling. And if you can give that to them, they have no reason to leave. They have no reason to try to replace you. And you can give them that feeling by validating their false self. Pretending like it's real. Pretending like you believe in everything they're saying to you. If you can make them feel desirable and attractive. If you can make them feel special and important. They will stick around. But you also have to ignore any flaws or imperfections. Any faults or mistakes that they might make. You have to pretend like you don't notice or it doesn't bother you. So that it props up their false self and makes them feel like they're perfect. The only problem is that after a certain amount of time, your supply loses its potency. Every supply has an expiry date. So even if you do everything right, even if you treat them in the exact way they would like, Even if you ignore all of their faults and mistakes. At some point it isn't even going to matter. Because once the narcissist has been around you long enough. Your supply is going to lose its potency. It's no longer going to have the same effect as it once did. And they will still try to replace you. They will still try to find someone else. Because they're addicted to the rush of being around someone new. Someone who doesn't know what they're about. It's exciting for them. It makes them feel alive. And you could never compete with a supply of someone new. That attention and admiration of a new person is so powerful. And it's something that the narcissist cannot live without. So even if you do everything right. Even if you were the perfect supply for the narcissist. At some point they would get bored. At some point they would desire something new. Even if the new supply isn't as great as you were to them. Even if they're less attractive or less successful. It doesn't matter.
because the only thing they're looking for is that rush they get from being with someone new. And that is why it can often seem like they downgrade after they leave you. Because at that point, it doesn't matter to them. All they want is a new person. Someone who doesn't know what they're really about. And as long as they're slightly attractive, they don't care. The narcissist will try to replace you. Even if you do everything right. They will try to find another you. They will try to find someone who doesn't know what they're really about. They will try to find someone new. Because they love the feeling it gives to them. It makes them feel alive. It makes them feel desirable and attractive. It makes them feel special and important. And they don't care about how it affects you. They don't care that they're just leaving you behind. They have no empathy for you. They only care about their own needs. But there is one way to stop the narcissist from replacing you. And the only way you can do that is by leaving them as soon as they start to devalue you. As soon as you notice a change in their behavior. Because that is when they're going to try to replace you. That is when they're going to look for someone else. And then they're just going to leave you like you never even existed. Because your supply has lost its potency. And they need something new to make them feel alive. Regardless of how it affects you. Which is why you need to leave before they get the chance to do that. The narcissist will try to replace you. But you can save yourself. By getting out of there before they have the chance. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions, and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.